Bereshith, Genesis 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, Elohim ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And Elohim blessed Eth the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which Elohim created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth, when they were created in the day that Yahuwah Elohim made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for Yahuwah Elohim had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till at the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered eth the whole face of the ground. And Yahuwah Elohim formed eth the man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul. And Yahuwah Elohim planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put Eth the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made Yahuwah Elohim to grow every, every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water Eth the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pichon, that it is rather, that is it which compasses Eth the whole land of Chavalier. Rather, Chavilla. La, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. There is Bedlam and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gichon. The same is it that compasses Eth, the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Chidikel. That is it which goes toward the east of Ashur. And the fourth river is Parath. And Yahuwah, Elohim, took Eth the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to guard it. And Yahuwah, Elohim, commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat of it. For in the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. And Yahuwah Elohim said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground, Yahuwah Elohim formed every beast of the field and eth every fowl of the air and brought them unto the man to see what he would call them. And whatsoever the man called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And the man gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for the man there was not found a help meet for him. And Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And Eth 
the rib which Yahuwah Elohim had taken from the man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave eth his father and eth his mother and shall cleave unto his woman and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his woman, and were not ashamed. 